Right, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Honda CRV 2.2 EX diesel. Car I see here, uh, passion red with the black leather interior. Also been fitted with this really lovely pack. Now, um, I should know my Hondas, I've worked them for years, but th this was after my time there. I think this is called the Urban Pack or the Urban Aero Kit, or whatever, uh, but it looks absolutely fantastic. So, on the front here, this little garnish fitted into the front bumper. You've got the side steps, high level rear spoiler, and rear bumper treatment as well. The car is in absolutely beautiful condition. Uh, all the lights and lenses on the front there you can see are absolutely spot on. Front bumper itself is clean as a whistle. Bottom to the car, very, very clean indeed. Hardly a stone chip of any note on there. There's obviously going to be a couple somewhere, but they are very, very few and far between. Near side of the vehicle, absolutely blemish free down the side in terms of any indentations otherwise on there. Um, it's also got door um, protector mouldings fitted as well, so it has got a lot of options on this car. Um, front wing, absolutely unmarked. Front alloy, can't see anything on there at all. And Dunlop tyre, that's a full set, I think, of uh, branded tyres on this car. And then on this side, all very, very clean indeed. It's not to say there isn't going to be the odd little minor brush mark on the car, of course, there is. Um, rear alloy again unmarked Michelin on the back here and come around the back it's one of my favorite angles for these looks absolutely fantastic with that high level spoiler it's all very subtle very classy really nicely done and as you can see there you've got the garnish down on the back there fitted into the rear bumpers as well with the color coded uh, parking sensors fitted into it but it really is in quite superb condition then off side of the vehicle. I'll come around this way so the sun doesn't glare quite so much and I'll stoop down in a second. Rear alloy again, Michelin tied to match the other one on the other side. Absolutely clean as a whistle again. And then all the panel work really is in super, super condition. And then done not tire to match the other front and then alloy again pretty much unmarked there and so externally a car that looks absolutely fabulous and is in really beautiful condition let's so come to the boot area here absolutely enormous boots you can see their tonneau covers here and intact um, let's pop that back there for you carpeted areas plastic trim all in very 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 nice and original condition there as I said it's been kept in really fine order got a little power outlet there and then you've got your handles on either side to drop the seats down in one motion so it's really cleverly done um, but it's, it's a, you know, absolutely huge huge boot obviously on these EX back ones you've got electric um, tailgate just to show you that working exactly as it should all right so just parked in the shade now sun's lovely but it does play havoc with the videos when trying to do them um, Rear near side door card, again looks absolutely as new. Uh, carpeted areas, back of the seats all in very good condition. Not always a, a given on the CRVs, given that they are used for um, family use. So quite often find back of seats are being sort of well and truly kicked by um, overactive kids. Near side door card there, or off side door card, again absolutely as new. And leather work is in absolutely fantastic condition really is i mean these are brilliant family cars the leg room in the back is simply huge and that's with the driver's seat in the set position set for me and i'm over six foot tall um, and it doesn't impact on the boot space at all so driver's door card again all in fabulous order footwell area all very clean and tidy driver's seat has electric memory seats with um, two memory settings there obviously they're heated and all again just look really really clean and fresh which is really nice to see uh, passenger seat likewise looks pretty much factory fresh in all honesty and if we look above our heads here we've got this huge one piece panoramic roof on the car so on days like today if it's a bit too bright inside just flick the switch and close it over and on cloudy days you can you know it's really nice especially with dark interiors just let a lot of natural light into the vehicle 
Right, so inside the car now, engine's running has been all the way through. Um, interior plastics, you know, pretty much look as new in all honesty. It's in fantastic condition. Beautifully, beautifully built interior. As you can see there, sat nav, fully functional. Um, we'll pop it into reverse for you. And you've got this lovely parking camera out the back there with a little grid there to show you um, where you want to be aiming for. Dual zone climate control system all working exactly as it should. Six speed gearbox lever and gator all looks as new. And then down the centre console here we've got your heated seat but buttons there all working exactly as they're intended to as well. And in the centre here we've got um, your cup holders and you should put your phones down there as well. Uh, so tons of space but really is very practical car and then the center console here again big bin there you've got your power outlet video input and usb uh, lead there as well and that obviously charges the phone and um, plays music out through it as well even old dinosaurs like me know that these days come across the main dashboard of the vehicle if i just pan in there you can see 43,532 miles and there's no warning lights on with the car running as you can see auto lights auto wipers multifunction steering wheel here all in lovely condition um, information display on the top left cruise control top right then we've got uh, further information on the bottom right and hands-free functions down on the bottom left there um, but all in really genuinely superb condition just before I forget just to show you we've got the full owner's manual uh, for the car and the navigation system manual as well and very importantly the lock and wheel nut key is present for the car as well so finally just to show you under the engine bay um, the car's just had a full service um, had a service rather and it's also just gone through an independent MOT prior to sale very nicely laid out engine bays very accessible for all the um, maintenance points battery etc uh, just to point out the video always picks up the engine noise far more than actually when you physically stood here um, cam chain driven engines so no cam belts to worry about on these and you know a really good reputation for reliability uh, what we'll follow now will be a road test of this very car right then this is a quick road test video and this is for a honda crv it's a 2.2 ex diesel car is registered bear with me one second lt63 WSN and mileage at the start of this road test is 43,523 miles. The reason we do the videos is very simple indeed. We just want customers to see the cars in operation prior to coming to see us. Um, and also we can feedback any issues there may be with the car. Uh, we feel as though that's very important um, as people are willing to travel a lot further to come and see cars. Uh, this particular car has been very well looked after um, and the very second you're going to get in and drive the car if you're interested in buying it you'll that will become apparent straight away um, engine starts absolutely immediately uh, press of a button in the, these in the case with these cars obviously it's keyless start keyless entry on the vehicle um, engine's very smooth very quiet um, there's no strange noises there's absolutely no warning lights on the dashboard uh, relating to the engine or any other part of the car um, but it pulls beautifully it's a lovely torquey engine um, very smooth for the power band the rev band sorry um, uh, you, there's not a lot of turbo lag with them they, they pick up pretty much straight away and, and get going um, if you can hear a beep by the way there's a one of these speed alarms which i'm going to deactivate because i can't stand them but uh, you know, we're at 30 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, they sort of ping just to remind you, but um, uh, they, they drive me insane, but I'll, uh, I'll disarm those. Um, but the engine, absolutely spot on. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful example of what is a really great engine. Um, engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox on the vehicle. Clutch is very smooth in operation, it's quiet. Uh, bite point is exactly where it should be on the pedal travel as well. But, and also when you're putting the clutch in and out uh, when it's stationary or otherwise there's no discernible change in engine notes there's no vibrations coming back up to through there either um, so it's all in very very fine order likewise gearbox of the vehicle um, you know absolute lesson to other manufacturers and how to 
manufacture a really good gearbox you know not only are they incredibly tough mechanically um, but they're also really really nice gearboxes to use they're very slick they're very easy the short and throw and um, the gate itself is just so well defined you know you literally use your fingertips to guide the gear, uh, gear lever home it's just subtle pressures to left and right when you're coming up and down through the gearbox it's uh, as I said it's it's not often you get in a car of this type where you know they've, they've put so much attention into what you know what you'd expect to be in a sort of a much sportier vehicle and um, so it's a, so it's a very 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 nice gear change the uh, point of this video is obviously to pick up on any issues relating to sort of wear and tear but there's nothing on it the gear change is absolutely superb synchro mesh quality is brilliant which it always is on hondas um, but you know in terms of power training the vehicle engine gearbox clutch you know, absolutely faultless you know they really are in you know, super order which again you'd expect with you know a, a low mileage on the car steering of the car tracks absolutely bullet straight um, very very tight and taut on the road uh, quick to respond but not nervous and uh, very well judged and very accurate and precise for a car this type and size it does actually have a kind of a feeling that it makes the car feel smaller more agile than it ultimately is um, it's a nice small steering wheel um, you know but all the sort of little 10 to 3 the 10 to 2 rather the little sort of ridges in the leather work is is really nice uh, to hold um, but the steering again displays absolutely no wear at all in it there's no vibrations coming back to the steering which is a real um, pet hate of mine I hate that uh, but there is nothing on it at all suspension of the vehicle is very well judged again what I'm looking for on these road tests is just signs of kind of a little bit of wear underneath and when you're going over bumps so the reason I picked this section of the road particularly to talk about it is it's quite bumpy um, so when it goes over a bump I'm listening out for kind of secondary noises that shouldn't be there so you'll hear the suspension thud but I'm not hearing any of those horrible little mechanical clinks and clonks underneath and that's usually you know fairly cheap stuff ordinarily it's normally just little anti-roll bar links or little rubber bushes but occasionally it can be something more expensive like suspension struts which can be quite dear um, but this one absolutely is tight as a drum it really is um, it's also very very comfortable indeed um, you know it's they've got this they've got it absolutely sorted it's got a, uh, a really lovely ride quality it's smooth it's comfortable but what it is also is very 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 well controlled um, so when you're going over bumps and crests around tighter corners um, the, the car feels very 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 nice indeed um, but it's all so they're all driving absolutely beautifully it, you know, it's um, it's exactly as it should be but they're they're a car that you know getting some sort of big four-wheel drives you know you can't defy the laws of physics unfortunately you know still in a taller more upright car but corners like this which is very tight and deep and backing yourself getting some and they kind of keel over this one just stays nice and flat and basically you and more importantly your passengers in the car don't get kind of thrown around in the seats brakes on the vehicle um, lovely solid brake pedal there's um, I hit the brakes there nose dives down nice and straight and true um, it's not pulling left right and there's no, no sort of pulsing there's no vibrations coming back through the brake pedal at all um, so they're all in very very fine order it's also very quiet you know it's you know, here I am at sort of approaching the legal limit um, it's very nice and subdued in here um, again what I'm really looking out for is if you know door seal or windscreen wasn't fitted quite right you might end up with a bit of wind hiss but it's very 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 quiet in here looking around inside the car the car's literally just come to us um, it's not been cleaned yet but it is very very clean um, it's not going to take much to clean this one uh, but it's all you know what you can't get across in the videos unfortunately is just how solid the car actually feels um, and this, you know, I always argue, and I think rightly, which we all tend to think when we argue stuff, 
Um, I think it's, you know, it, it is the best built car of its type. Uh, they don't do what the Germans do to make it feel heavy, but it has a solidity about it, which very few cars have. The dashboard is beautifully, beautifully built, uh, made out of very nice materials, uh, predominantly. Obviously, you get some slightly harder stuff further down, but up top here, got this sort of soft feel um, around most of the dashboard nicely grained and textured um, very nicely finished as well nice little touches with little silver inlays um, it's not tacky it looks really nice um, and being an EX spec of course you've got loads of equipment in here um, the one that's obvious immediately is the sat nav system which works perfectly and obviously that um, defaults to a um, parking camera as soon as you pop it into reverse as you know um, but again all working exactly as it should um, dual zone climate control it's a nice warm day today 25 degrees and that's blowing out lovely cold air so again it's just that the air conditioning system is nicely fully charged and working exactly as it should as well car also obviously being the ex with the leather interior you get the heated seats in the car as well um, they all work exactly as they should um, even though you don't really need them on a day like today. The rest of the dashboard, again, working exactly as it's intended to. All the pixelation, all the readouts, all absolutely spot on. Obviously, if, if you don't know, Honda use a, obviously it's a four wheel drive car. Um, but what Honda worked out very quickly is that most people will be just driving around like this. So what was the point in running the car permanently in four-wheel drive as a lot of cars do? Um, because unfortunately that just adds a lot of mechanical wear to cars, um, chews up the tires and obviously uses more fuel. Um, so what this does, it runs the most efficient way of all. It runs in front-wheel drive 99% of the time if that's what your driving is. On those very rare days that you may venture off onto sort of a um, across a muddy field or you know, school fate or if you're going camping or something like that it's brilliant because all that happens is the front wheels will start to spin um, and then it'll sense it and it'll activate the rear wheels to come in so you have four wheel drive as soon as it senses you don't need it anymore it turns itself off you don't do anything you don't press a button you don't do a thing and the system is you know We've never, ever, ever touched one, and that's in over 20 years of selling Honda CRV four-wheel drives. Um, they are an incredibly tough and durable um, system because it's not been used a lot. That's the long and the short of it. Um, but it's the way it works is just so clever. Um, obviously, the point of the video, as I mentioned at the start of it, was you know to pick up any issues there may may be with the car. Um, there isn't anything on this car in terms of the drive of the car. Every button I pressed has worked exactly as it should. Um, and I do pick up on faults. I don't think I'm just sort of ticking a boxes for the sake of it. Um, if there's something wrong in the car, I've, I will tell you. And I have done on all my previous videos. Um, but if there's something I've missed on the video, then obviously recommend please do give us a call. Um, obviously, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have.